hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're here and you know we're gonna do a new video i mean what else right so if you want to see what look you know my little ready prime brows done then guess what keep on watching even when it don't feel right i still want to party with her okay so i actually ordered this from you know Ulta. it's all black opal products so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a full face of black opal i've actually been using the foundation stick for a, a brown contour and i really really like it so today we're gonna go ahead and just you know test out some more of the products the products are actually pretty exp inexpensive it range kind of like from i would say maybe 12 bucks is maybe the um, most expensive one my only thing is so I did get the palette and this one is the iconic high impact eyeshadow palette and it came broken if you see uh, this shade right here this shade right here is broken so it's fine I'm just gonna go ahead and just this palette is not uh, doesn't have a lot going on so we're just gonna go ahead and do something quick and simple I know a lot of you guys always tell me oh you make it look so complicated not all of them is complicated but I'll do something simple today so the first shade actually I'm gonna use is the do the shades have name I guess so this one is talented which is the dark brown right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that I already have my lid prime I did go ahead and use my um, eyeshadow foundation base and this is from makeup by Yolando and I'm gonna use an E13 from Morphe and I'm just gonna put that brown all over oh, oh, oh I like this brush so I'm like if you've been watching my channel for a little bit I'm literally obsessed with Pillow's base and I've been using this from um, Yolando this is my second time using it and I actually really really like it same thing I mean you have to order it but I ordered two shades I, I've been trying to get the Beats by Deb um, eyeshadow palette so I think when I get it if she bring it back in stock I'm just gonna go ahead and order some more shades cuz this what I have on is pretty light I don't always want shades that light but sometimes I do so this is applying very well I think it's a combination of both the brush and the um, and the shadow I, I almost don't really like just like basic looks like that like I, I get it the looks most of the looks I do is not everyday looks but it's just you know preference and I know there's channels that do like you know just nice basic looks all the time I must say my looks are super super complicated but I know they're not you know just the basic everyday looks that most people do and I understand I get it and periodically I'll do those but that's not where the heart is get what I'm saying yes I, I know what you were saying you don't have to keep asking the next shit I'm gonna go in is gonna be this shit right here and that's the shit that's broken if you see a whole piece a whole chunk is missing there so yep this is M506 and as I said we're gonna go into this shit right here which is called Gold member? I don't know if the names matches, but the names are at the back. So I'm gonna go into the orangey shade and I'm just gonna like kind of blend the edges, just, just blending that into that orangey shade. I'm blending the brown into here. So that shade is okay, just I mean as I said, like the palette is not too much. To ride home about like it's just a very simple shadow like kind of everyday kind of thing but what i will say is it blends very well it just blends nicely this look is gonna be so simple like 
and you don't have to use these specific shades to do this look I am using this shade because you know that's all I got but you don't have to use the shades you can just use whatever shades you want to use just or, the, or if you have these shades in another palette you can use it you don't have to specifically use this palette from black opal because I don't know if they carry them in any stores. I haven't seen them in any stores. I did order these off of Alter website. They don't have them in Alter stores. So, so I don't know. So I'm going to go back with that um, E13 brush from Morphe. And I'm going to go back in the brown shade. And I'm just going to like tap that all over. The lid again. Because I felt like I lost a little bit of my brown. When you want to get like you know full pigmentation just just temp instead of you know blending just temp temp yeah. I'm gonna do something like real quick just to put a little shimmer on my lid and that one will be done for this eye and then we're gonna go off camera to the other eye and be back but before I do that I'm gonna use my NYX glitter glue put some on the back of my hands like that and kind of like so like right here Oops. and I'm gonna use this brush what is this this is the T33 from makeup shack and that's gonna take some glue like so and I'm gonna pass it in here I'm actually using this shade this shade right here and we're just gonna go ahead and just put this all over the lid just to get a little bit of shimmer again I'm not I'm not blending I'm just like patting it and I'm putting this all over my lid okay so that's it for this look like I know it's you know nothing exciting so I'm gonna go off camera do my other eye real quick and I'll be right back Okay, so we're back. Both eyes are done. As I said, like this look is not anything, you know, out there because the, I just didn't, don't have the shades like that. So I did get these liners. Um, this one is called After Hours and All Night and Get Lit. I'm not sure. I, I swear I picked up a black, but apparently I didn't. So these are the shades. Like they're like... I guess this is the purple, this is the blue, and this is the gold. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do the blue. I don't know, because I need a liner. So. This is like blue, blue. The good thing, I mean, it's still blue, but it's like. It's kind of dark. Or when I put it on the brown. It is dark, so it doesn't look too bad. Mm, I don't know about this blue, but that's what's gonna happen. It's it's a good liner. I just don't know about blue liner for this look, but I don't do whatever I want to do. It's makeup. It's not that serious. Just do whatever makes you happy. This is this is my pop of color. That's my excuse. I'm not gonna decide on this pimple. Oh, not sure what it's doing there, but it's here to stay apparently. Okay, let's go ahead. What did you use to prime? Let me prime. Let me prime. I'm gonna go ahead and use. I did not get a primer from them, so I'm just gonna use my good molecules. Primer real quick. I love this primer. It's like a primer. Um, it's like a primer and a moisturizer together. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm not sure why it's not coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lay Low from Mac and my little thingy from Real Techniques. My mini sponge. I feel like I, I want to put this over there. Just cover this a little bit. This is so gross. Then I have another one here. Okay, and now I'm gonna try this foundation, but man, I feel like this foundation is gonna be too dark for me. 
And this is the one. This is a uh, E63 from Morphe. Let's let's see. Hey, what shade is this? This is nutmeg. But man, all this all the other shades online. Yep, this is too dark. Let's see. Come on, this is orange. See, that's why I don't like to buy stuff online because then you can't see the shade. And I know, I know, I know, I know, guys. I know this shade is orange. Let me take off my earrings. Hopefully, I can make this work with the concealer. See, I mean, you can see this. Like, look at my neck and look at my face. And we're gonna go in for some more. This is what is it? It's a pore perfected liquid foundation. But does it say it has an appearance of pores? Um, it doesn't really. Oh, it says light to medium coverage. Yeah, I can see that. Oh my god. It definitely to do my ears, cause whew. And this is like minimal coverage. This is more light than medium. And I did put like four pumps, and it still didn't even cover my freckles. See, you can still see all my freckles here. So. And I, I know I look nice and orange. Like, look at my face compared to my chest. Which means this concealer is gonna be light. So, the concealer, it, it says it's a flawless concealer and it comes in a little bullet like it's a, like a lipstick. And it looks like so, but I feel like this might be too light. I guess it's fine. I don't like how it stays under my eye though. I wish it was a little bit lighter. Especially with this orange ass face. And it stinks. It stinks like old lady hop. It's like, I don't know. And this coverage is like not even there. I don't like this. I don't like this, but I feel like I need to just put it all over my face. I feel my foundation should be this color. I'm just, I'm just like putting it everywhere. <laughs> this, so I do have a setting powder from them. This is the True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. I hate when they put that thingy like in here. You can barely like get it. I, I try my best not to order any kind of foundation or anything like that online because to be honest with you, I haven't been able to get any kind of foundation or anything like that from online that matches me unless I bought it before and I'm just repurchasing it. But... So this is uh, another foundation stick and this one is not meg. Oh. See, I guess I, I mean, look at this. Like, I look so orange. Let me see. Yeah, this is. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have even contour because I already look like a big old, like, pumpkin. Because I really, really like that contour stick. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna really like the rest of the things. Not so much. Not so much. <sighs> but already have it so we're just gonna try to make it work this is actually an e5 from morphe i mean look at this this is like ridiculous as like my mom like to say that's like her favorite word. I may use that foundation again. I definitely won't use it by itself. I mean, my skin looks good, but I feel like if the shade matches, I mean, look at this. Like, this is like a whole different. I know I have contour there, but you can tell the difference. And I'm gonna take an E20 and I'm just gonna blend that concealer. Oh, that concealer is very, very greasy and slippery. Oh. And the coverage is minimal. Like the like there's no coverage. Like what is the coverage? And um, my eyeshadow like kind of just runs 
on my nose already no sorry my foundation and to have a foundation like this slippery and greasy is gonna be like I mean look at this look at how that dog this looks okay what what shade is this this is what neutral light I don't know let's see how this powder looks I mean this look can't get any worse so for this first impression we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my face with the same powder that I used to set on my eye and just try to see if I can like salvage this look like, I don't know I don't know if it's salvageable but let's try it I mean I still feel like I look a tad bit orange but it's not as bad as it was before I feel like I salvaged I salvaged the look a little bit yeah I mean it is what it is I can still see like look at my the difference between my chest and my, my face but it's okay it's all good in the hood uh, I did have a mascara and this one is just the super volumizing mascara from black opal pretty much everything I'm using is black opal except <laughs> I don't know it's kind of gross but it wasn't coming out is yeah most of the things oh so the one look like this which I don't like I don't like any of these ones that curl this is doing nothing for my sad 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 lashes where's the volumizing did I miss that memo very sad don't like that it is what it is though it is what it is, it ain't what it ain't. It's like baby lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and use Swanky from Sephora. Now I'm gonna go in real quick with my Makeup by Yolando primer and I'm just gonna put a little bit. And I'm using a Zoeva 209 brush. Oh, sorry, I lied, a Loxy 209 brush. And what is this? An E32 actually. And this is just a, a short shader brush. And I'm gonna use this and back into this, you know, little palette. And I'm gonna put the dark brown and blend it out with the orangey shade. So nothing special. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of that orange shade. Just to blend that brown a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with that, you know, blue. And I'm gonna use this in my waterline. So this is a Sephora, just an angle brush. Just. I like this powder. Just bronzing a little bit of this. Use this. This is from Koki Beauty. Is it Koki Beauty something? Yeah. Kiko, Kiko. And just a little bit blush. Nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna put a little bit of my double glimmer or uh, glim dimension skin finish from MAC. Oh, and this is on a Smashbox Precise Highlighter Brush. I'm going to go with this shade right here. And this is called Color Splurge Patterned Lips by Black Opal. So which shade should I go? I'll, I'll use this shade right here. So this is Peel Hill. And I make sure I put this here because I really like this lip liner. And then we're going to go in with... Dynamo. I can tell you I'm not gonna like this because this is very like tacky. And then I'm gonna put this shade right here in my inner corner, which looks light. Hopefully, it's light enough. But it doesn't really matter right now because. 
Oh, and I'm putting this on an E36. Nothing crazy, cause that contour wasn't that drastic. So. Okay, so hair's done. That's you know done with the hair. I'm done with the makeup. To be honest with you, like most of the stuff, I did not like. I like the lip liners, but I guess it's not. It kind of dried on a little bit tacky which means it's gonna be like transferred like all over the place so you know me and this see I hate these that's why I always cut them off because it just keeps like popping up so those lashes they were from so far I'm pretty sure I won't buy them again because I don't like them I don't feel like they're dramatic enough but I like the powder the powder was really good um, this part I feel like would be good if I had gotten like maybe a lighter shade I, that might have been fine but this shade was too dark I used it to contour so I mean it's fine it's okay the lip liners and I feel like the, that the lip liner and the um, eyeliner were the star of the show and I really like the cream contour or the foundation stick but I've already used that before so I kind of already knew how that was and I don't like the I don't like this I don't like like this is very 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 greasy I mean I went heavy with powder and I can already see this like separating here so this I mean I crease all of my eye like I think most of us do but this is very greasy and very like not that great so yeah that is my final take on this you know full look using black opal products that's it for this video guys don't forget to like subscribe join the family and i'll see you in my next video bye guys